हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द डेटा साइंस वीडियो नाउ इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ डेटा साइंस नाउ विल कंटिन्यू विद द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स नाउ व्हाट डू मीन बाय मशीन लर्निंग सो मशीन लर्निंग इज एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एआई आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस दैट प्रोवाइड्स सिस्टम द एबिलिटी टू ऑटोमेटिकली लर्न एंड इंप्रूव फ्रॉम एक्सपीरियंस विदाउट बीइंग एक्सप्लिसिटली प्रोग्रामड Machine learning focuses on the development of computer programs that can access data and use it learn for themselves. The process of learning begins with the observations or data such as examples, direct experience or instructions, okay? So previous data should be available for us observations in order to look for the patterns in the data, make it better decisions in future based on this example that we provide. the primary aim is to allow the computers to learn automatically without human interventions or assistance and adjust the actions accordingly machine learning learns from uh, the experience you see how human learns human being also learns from the experience what experience that we have gained previously and what decisions we have made whether you have made this accurate decisions or not now this particular decision making step uh, steps are used in machine learning techniques what we do we give observations or examples or experience of human to the computer algorithms now computer algorithm will find the novel insights in this data and based on that computer algorithm will take the future decisions that's what machine learning here does now where actually machine learnings are originated the earliest databases recorded information in the form of observable environments just like uh, astronomers recorded the patterns of planet and stars so based on that particular pattern astronomers were predicting what will happen next when the next time the solar eclipse or lunar eclipse will be visible or next time you can see halley's comet or any kind of comet because there is a pattern in that if you know that pattern based on that we can make the decision so much easily just like uh, uh, even biologists derive the results from the experiments like uh, cross breeding plants and animals and cities recorded tax payment in last several years how tax payments were there and now in next year next uh, few years how tax payment can be collected based on the current growth that you can identify or uh, this is outbreaks just like uh, corona outbreaks we have seen what will happen if it is not controlled within a specific time we can identify with the help of the machine learning techniques and populations each of these required a human being to first observe and second record the observations and once you recorded the observations then your human brain can do the prediction based on this today such observations are increasingly automated and recorded systematically in ever growing computerized databases and based this is what we call a origins of the machine learning so if you consider human is a machine so this machine learns from the experience and we grow experience by experience so for by several year by year we are getting experience and our knowledge is getting improved our accuracy of making decision is also getting improved similar strategy is applied to the machine learning techniques also yes so it's a field of study interested in the development of computer algorithms for transforming data into intelligent actions okay this is what the perfect definition that we can call as a field of study which uses the computer algorithm develop the computer algorithm for transforming data into intelligent action okay so uh, let's see how these steps are actually done so three angles are there to the machine learning three things we need to focus more mainly on so if that three things are not a, any one of these three thing is not available this triangle will not be completed let's see what we have available data available data so previous experience previous observations previous experiments all these things are given as input to the machine learning algorithm here that's what we call as available data that data can be available in any format means maybe in text format image format or video format or any other database format so without that machine can't learn anything so what pattern that data is containing will be learned by machine and for that purpose we require the statistical methods to do this so different statistical methods are available based on the statistical methods we identify what pattern data is containing what pattern what similarity the input and output is containing so it will take from here and then statistical methods will be applied and based on that we are going to create the equations 
okay and what 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 exactly the third angle is third angle is a computing power okay so available data and statistical methods are there but i if i want to find statistical method to available data this will be the manual process so i need to do it from the computer's programming so we require the computing power for this this computing power contains two things first is a programming language and the second is the hardware power computing power uh, first programming language that we can use python programming language for performing these operations and second is the hardware hardware means if the data is huge statistical methods are complex then we must have good amount of uh, hardware resources like microprocessor or your random access memory ram or if the graphics cards are there that also it will speed up the process or if you are having distributed uh, computing systems with us that also will speed up the process so these three angles are required to get the machine learning techniques okay so machine learning is based on these three things we are going to make use of all of these okay you are knowing computing power already means we must be knowing a python programming language to uh, work with that now we'll be focusing on this and this from where the data is available data sources are present and then statistical method that i can apply onto it that also we'll see data mining so data mining we already seen it's a closely related sibling of the machine learning data mining is concerned with the generation of novel insights from the large databases okay so large databases we are going to extract the knowledge from the information that's what the data mining technique actually does and most of the time in books also in several websites also you can uh, you might have seen machine learning and uh, data mining techniques are having similar kind of algorithms it's fine it's correct but their aim and objective of implementation of algorithm is different now how it is differentiated so you might use the machine learning to teach a robot to drive a car okay so if you want to drive a car if you want to teach a robot to drive a car so you can use machine learning to do it whereas you utilize the data mining technique to learn what type of the cars are safest yes okay so machine learning teaches and data mining extracts finds okay so these are uh, this is what the differences are there if same algorithm can be used for both operations but but their objective is different so machine learning algorithms are virtually a prerequisite for data mining but opposite is not true in other words you can apply machine learning to tasks uh, that do not involve data mining but if you are using data mining methods you are almost certainly using a machine learning techniques applications where we apply the machine learning let's see how uh, it will be used predicting the outcome of elections is it possible actually to predict the outcome of elections okay so these techniques are already applied in several elections also i'll show one news here this is this news i have taken from sakal newspaper from pune this is marathi news you just can check it okay so according to this news they are using random forest model uh, of statistics and they have identified the results of two, 2015 sorry 2019 lok sabha elections in india and uh, whatever the result that they have given they were 100% correct their model was showing 96% accuracy but after the elections were declared it was 100% correct which are shown here you can read the news now identify and filter the spam messages from email so when you receive any email in your l mailbox whether this particular email is spam or not spam so that we can find with the help of uh, machine learning techniques or if you want to foresee the criminal activity foreseeing the criminal activity what do you think is it possible actually by machine learning what uh, crime the criminal can do okay it's possible in some cases like if serial killer is there is what pattern that serial killer is actually following it's very uh, difficult to understand uh, by the police so they can make use of an effective machine learning algorithms by which they can find the criminal activities ahead or if you want to automate the traffic signals according to the road conditions yes it is possible like for example in one direction the traffic flow is high too much high and in another direction it's very low so where the traffic flow is high there you have to keep green line green light on for max number of time and where the traffic flow is low there you have to keep red light for max number of time automatically this should be done not for 30 seconds or 40 seconds everywhere this should automate it or produce the financial estimate of the storms and natural disasters so when any kind of you know, storm or natural disaster happens on the next day or on the same day we get 
how much loss they have incurred so they are not going home to home they are having effective ml algorithm by which they are predicting how much loss may have incurred by this natural disaster or examining the examining the customer churn or creating the auto piloting planes or driving cars or identifying individuals capacity to denote or targeting advertisement to specific type of consumers okay this this also we have seen in data science applications so all these predictions or identification uh, patterns is done with the help of the machine learning algorithms and techniques okay so what we require in that the first thing is the pattern recognition machine learning algorithm takes the data and identifies the pattern that can be used for the action this pattern recognition is most important in some cases the results are so useful that they seems to reach the near legendary status okay 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 this this, this what uh, we are having the achievement from the machine learning techniques machine learning algorithms are already having their defined uh, defined way to uh, identify the data but we have to fit your data into that algorithm specifically so how do machine learn a commonly cited formal definition of machine learning proposed by computer scientist tom michel says that a machine is said to learn if it is able to take experience and utilize it such that its performance improves upon similar experience in the future this definition is fairly exact yet says a little about machine learning techniques actually learn to transform data into actionable knowledge now remember uh, this machine learning uh, definition is given in the book of uh, tom michel's name as machine learning as it is and a perfect definition that uh, he has given there if it is able to take experience and utilize it such that its performance improve upon the similar experience but tom michel is not the originator of machine learning machine learning is originated in 1956 okay it was eliminated uh, used in 1956 first time and from 1956 till uh, 1996 almost for 40 years this technology has not taken any revolutions but from 1996 onwards this technology has started evolving and from last uh, almost 10 years uh, many development of algorithm is done many useful improvements are done in algorithms and applications in the industries are also rising now how do machine learn actually so three things which are mentioned over here data input utilizes the observations memory storage and the recall to provide factual basis for further reasoning that's what we having data input here okay based on this data we have abstraction stage it involves the translation of data into broader representation okay data may be raw data too much raw data is present now data can't be directly take by uh, taken by machine learning algorithms so we need to represent this data into some different format as per your required format in the previous slide also i i have told about it for example algorithm need the data in celsius format and we are having fahrenheit format then what to do so we have to transform the data from fahrenheit to centigrade format and then it we are going to make you this is just an example i told not always is required maybe a broader representation is required so that's what we call as abstractions so data science data analytics techniques are actually coming under this category abstractions we are performing data abstractions and then we are going to have the generalization generalization uses the abstracted data to form the basis for action so finally generalization will decide what action to take or what is the prediction output from your algorithm is so based on this three thing a chain is created and this chain uh, with the help of this chain machine learning learns the things or predict the output out of your data now uh, in machine learning techniques the knowledge representation is done by different different models okay during the process of knowledge representation the computer summarizes the raw input in model and explicit description of the structured patterns among the data <clears throat> there are many different type of models are present like some algorithms are having only equations okay they are uh, represented in the form of the equations or some algorithm represent the data in the form of diagrams like trees and graphs okay in diagrammatical format are there or some algorithms contain the logical if else rules only rules are present if this then that else that okay in this way so knowledge is represented or some algorithms are performing operation in the form of grouping of data called as clustering it 
So uh, these are the knowledge representation ways uh, that machine learning techniques actually uses. When you are going to see uh, the machine learning algorithm, that time I will show how exactly uh, this knowledge is represented, in what format the knowledge is represented by the algorithm. <coughs> training a data set. The process of fitting a particular model to a data set is known as training. Okay, so why it's not called as learning? First note that the learning process does not end with the step of data abstraction. Okay, so it needs generalization also. The learning requires additional step to generalize the knowledge of future data. Second, the term training more accurately describes the actual process of und uh, process undertaken when the model is fitted to the data. That's what we call a training a data. So this is very important phase that machine learning is having, fitting a particular model to the data set called a training. Let's take an example. Okay, so this is human observation, Newton's observations, the apple is falling from the tree. Okay, this is Newton's observation. So, based on Newton's observation, he has recorded this data. Say this, this is data. Data and uh, data means when time was this, velocity was this, time was this, velocity was this, time was this, velocity was this. And in this data, he has found the model. What similarity that input and output is having? So, that model is the output and that is the universal constant of gravity g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square so the model is formed perfect this called as training so data is fitted into the model now what's the advantage of it once the model is formed then we can do the prediction the main application of machine learning prediction now when time is 10 then Based on this particular constant, we can identify the velocity also if time is 15, time is 16, time is 20, 25, 30, 50. Okay, now onwards, it's, it's possible because we found the novel insights in this. We found the statistical model behind this particular data. Once it is found, then predictions can be easily done. That's what we call as a training the data set. Generalization is also one of the properties. Generalization means doing the predictions. In reality, these are the faces. Just take an example. These are the faces in reality. But machine can understand this face only. If you are using a comparison rule, if this is a face, then that's a face only. Remaining others are not face. So what your algorithm will do, all these are not faces. In this way, it will work. Now, if I take this face here, and I will compare by if else rule, it will show this is not a face, only this will be the face. But generalization will find the most accurate results. If it is matching with this, so result is face and this is not a face like this. So generalization techniques will go to achieve highest amount of accuracy and based on that, the prediction of the output will be done is so much easily. So some steps of machine learning are there. Before that, I'll show simple example of uh, machine learning techniques here. Uh, let's take this example shown here. So uh, x and y are the input and z is the output. Okay, take an example. X and y is the input, z is the output. And now uh, it identifies that when x was this, y was this, and z was this. Okay, so when x was three, y was five, and z is twelve. Okay. So, what relation that x and y input are containing, so z is calculated. Can you formulate it? You can check it. Now, 6, 9, 21 here. Then here we have 7, 2, 15. Here we have 4, 4, 12. And here we have 5, 8 and 20. Is there any relation which is applicable to all the 5 datas, rows in this particular table? Is there any relation? You just can check it out and find is there any relation, what relation or what equation will satisfy this. Z is equal to, Z is equal to what? Z is equal to X and Y's combination, how it is calculated. You can think of it, you can pause this slide here and then you can think. Or I will show the uh, output of it. Remember, uh, there is no any equation which will perfectly fit all these five rows here. No any perfect equation. And in machine learning also, it is not compulsory that all the observations will satisfy the particular rule, formula, equation or any knowledge representation there. Remember, it is not, there is no any single equation which satisfies, but I can find the equation which 
is the most nearest to all the entries which is the most nearest to all the entries the equation is so it is z is equal to 2x plus y check it out 2x plus y if i apply this equation here so 2x plus y is 11 for this case here 2x plus y is 21 for this case here 2x plus y is 16 in this case here 2x plus y is 12 correct here 2x plus y is 18 now you can see uh, this is uh, what we have the expected result this is ac according to equation that we got result here also see only this and this is having perfect output but remaining are close to it remaining are close so here i am getting minus 1 here i am getting 0 here i am getting plus 1 here I am getting 0, I am showing the differences here and here I am getting minus 2. Okay. So, uh, equation is satisfying, but we are having this particular difference and this difference we term as the error. Okay. So, we are applying this data to this particular model. So, this is a model of your machine learning okay. and this is your data and from this data this model is created, but still we have these errors, these errors, these errors remember. So, machine learning will try to find the most perfect model as possible, but maybe in all the cases this most perfect model is not possible and in many cases not possible. Generally, we identify this uh, accuracy or the uh, fitting, the training the data into statistical model in terms of accuracy there. Now, what is mean by accuracy? See, uh, in general technique, if you write 19 is equal to 20, this is false obviously it is false 90 is not equal to 20 or if i write 18 is equal to 20 100 percent false correct but but what machine learning technique will do machine learning technique will satisfy that okay 18 is equal to 20 correct but the accuracy is 90 percent accuracy is 90 percent we are getting expected result is 20 and predicted by algorithm is 18 it means that we are having 90 percent accuracy here and if you achieve 19 here yes so our accuracy is 95 percent like this and if i achieve 19.5 here then my accuracy is 97.5 carry and if i achieve 20 then this is 100 percent accuracy getting this so, we try to achieve highest amount of accuracy in machine learning, but maybe in some cases not possible. Generally, we consider 80 percent accuracy the threshold for finding the perfect algorithm for uh, this particular data. Okay. Now, come up, come with this data again. So, these are the errors, these are the errors. Now, for this particular case, for this particular case, accuracy is maybe 96 percent because the errors are present here. So, accuracy 96 percent. So, we can follow this particular step. Now, if I found the model, the so model is z is equal to x plus y. Now, what is the application of it? Now, once the model is created, we can easily do the prediction with the help of generalization techniques, how the predictions are done. Now, next time value of x arrives to you, okay, value of x, sorry, so value of x is, let us make it, yes, value of x is 3 value of y is 9. Now, I can predict the value of z which contains 96 percent accuracy. Okay? So, 3 into 2 that is 6 plus 9 15 will be the result for this case, but it contains 96 percent accuracy, but previously for some uh, rows the equation not perfectly matched. It is matched for 96 percent time. So, I can predict it. Now onwards, when new value of x and y will come, we can easily predict the value of z also. This is what we call as the machine learning or applying the data to the statistical model is called as the training the data set. Okay? So, this is how machine learning technique actually behaves, try to remember it. So, we are going to make use of these techniques in the upcoming sessions also. Now, there are 5 steps in which machine learning goes, almost these 5 steps are same as the data science applications here collecting the data, collect the data first, then explore and prepare the data or uh, represent your data, manipulate the data, clean the data, pre-processing operations are involved over here, then training the model on the data. 
So we have to train your data with the statistical model of a respective machine learning technique. Okay, after the training is done, then evaluate the model performance. Evaluation means how much accurately the data is fitted into this particular model. It's called as evaluating the model performance. Once the model is evaluated, then we can do the prediction and we can strive to improve the performance of the model. That's it. That's are the common steps that machine learning is taking here. Now, there are three type of machine learning techniques are there. The first is supervised learning, second is unsupervised learning, third is reinforcement learning. Now, uh, supervised and unsupervised, these are the main techniques which we use here. Supervised technique is called as task driven technique, task driven or it is having prediction model. So unsupervised is data driven, it is having a descriptive model. What is the difference in that? See, uh, whatever prediction that we have done, all these predictions are done by supervised learning techniques. Under supervised, we have two techniques like regression and classifications. Unsupervised, there is no any predictions. It is just forming the groups within the particular data. Means uh, what patterns are followed there, what similarity patterns that particular data is having and based on that groups are formed, patterns are generated. This is what we call as unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning techniques are clustering here and third is reinforcement technique. Algorithm learns to react on an environment. So, there are some uh, add-ons are given, some uh, rewards are given when if algorithm is performing better and they are taken out when algorithm is not performing better like they are called a reinforcement learning. Reinforcement techniques are almost near to the deep learning techniques here. We will focus on supervised and unsupervised techniques. See how supervised learning actually works. So, provide the machine learning algorithm categorized or labeled input output from the data to learn and, in, and based on that we are going to do the predictions. So remember predictions are this is what step 2 is. See, feed the machine new unlabeled uh, information and see what tags they will follow. See for example, all these are cats. This is cat, this is cat, this is cat. Based on that machine will learn. Machine will learn how cat look like. Yes. Once it has learned from the cat, then we will give new input to it. Okay, new input will be there. So, whether this is a cat, whether this is a cat, whether this is a cat, you can see this is classified as a cat, this is classified as a cat and this is classified as a non-cat. Getting? So, this is what supervised learning will work. Now, supervised learning is having two different methods. They are called as classification technique and the regression technique. Classification technique is just like this is a classification technique here. Means, I want to find whether it is coming under one class first class or second class, whether it is in blue class or the red class. Just take an example, whether the enter email is spam or not spam, whether the note which is given to you is fake or not fake, Okay, whether you are allowed to play the golf or not, like the so classifications are there. In regression, uh, just like dollars, weights you are identified, means I want to find the weight of the person when height is given, when height is this, weight is this, height is this, weight is this, Okay, like or uh, I want to find the prediction of the stock, uh, stock market basically. So, that is they are not having a fixed categories there, they are having the continuous output. So, that prediction is called as regression, when you are having categories called as classification, when we have a continuous value it is called as regression. So, these two techniques are there in supervised machine learning. If you go to unsupervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning find patterns, see provide the machine learning algorithm uncategorized label input and what patterns it finds. See what patterns that it finds. So, you can see uh, here in it. So, this, this and this, they are having the same pattern. So, they will go in one category and this image, this image and this image are having same category. So, they will gain another image. So, machine will observe and learn from patterns. So, these are similarity group number one, this is similarity group number two. Okay. So, this techniques uh, that we call as unsupervised learning tech, machine learning techniques, which is not having any predictions, they are finding the patterns in that. So, pattern can be of any type. Okay. So, here clustering techniques are used, identifying similarity in the groups, that is what we have seen here, this is what the pattern. So, they are, these are similar, these are similar and these are similar. So, in anomaly detections like uh, if some abnormalities are there in the data that we can find with the help of this particular techniques in uh, with the help of unsupervised machine learning techniques. There are so many algorithms which are coming under these categories in machine learning, in supervised learning, classification, degradation, again many algorithms are there. 
in unsupervised learning again clustering techniques are there and under clustering many techniques are there in classification technique we are going to make use of support vector machine decision tree random forest k nearest neighbor new base applications or logistic regression okay and in regression technique we are going to see linear regression polynomial regression even knn regression decision tree random forest all of these regression techniques are available in clustering we are going to see k means clustering or fuzzy c means clustering hierarchical clustering gaussian mixture clustering okay so these are the clustering techniques available in unsupervised learning that also we can see here okay so these are the categories that machine learning techniques are available here now as per the uh, categories like let's look at the examples or applications of machine learning here so this particular diagram is showing i'll just uh, take an overview of it like supervised learning we're going to have image classification okay or fraud detection and in regression we're going to have weather forecasting or market forecasting okay population growth predictions here we have categories where we have continuous values output okay if you go to unsupervised learning uh, finding the uh, structure in the data or uh, visualizing the big data or we are going to make use of the recommendation systems or targeted advertisements customer segmentation or reinforcement learning we have artificial intelligence games skill acquisitions learning tasks robot navigations okay the, the reinforcement learning techniques are use so uh, these are the applications that machine learning is having and if you go to uh, use the programming languages for the data science let's look at the programming languages which are top languages in 2019 and they are growing accordingly so number one language for data science here is python programming language second is r then sql java scala javascript julia and others so more than 50% users now around the globe for data science applications they are choosing the python programming language for designing the applications in it okay so as websites which have used and uh, one of the most beneficial websites from where you can learn about the data science okay so this is what uh, about data science and its field of machine learning from next video onwards we're going to see the things implemented with practical applications thank you thanks a lot